Chapter 26 On the Excellence of a Free Mind The Reward of Humble Prayer Rather Than of Reading Lord, it is the work of perfect persons never to let their minds slacken from the consideration of heavenly things and to carry on amid many cares as though they had no care. Not like an idle person, but by the special prerogative of a free mind, which clings to no creature or inordinate affection. O most merciful God, I implore you to keep me from the cares of this world, so that I do not become over-involved with them. Deliver me from the many demands of the body, lest I be ensnared by pleasure. Preserve me also from all hindrance of the soul, that I may not be disheartened by my troubles and become downcast. I do not ask to be kept from those vanities which the worldly covet so eagerly, but from those miseries, shared as a common burden by all humanity, which weigh so heavily upon the souls of your servants and prevent them from entering into liberty of spirit as often as they would. O oh my God, who are sweetness unspeakable, turn into bitterness for me all carnal pleasures, which would lure me from the love of eternal things and urge me to take delight in some passing sensible good. Do not let flesh and blood prevail over me, my God, nor let me be overcome by the world and its brief deceitful glory. Let not the devil, with all his cunning, ensnare me. Grant me the courage to resist, the patience to endure, and the steadfastness to persevere. Instead of worldly comfort, give me the sweet anointing of your Holy Spirit, and in place of carnal love, fill my heart with the love of your holy name. Having to make use of food, drink, clothing, and other necessities of the body is burdensome to a fervent soul. Grant me the grace to use such bodily necessities moderately and not to have an excessive desire for them. We are not permitted to dispense with them altogether, for nature must be sustained. But your holy law forbids unnecessary luxuries to be sought for our mere pleasure. Otherwise, the flesh would rebel against the spirit. I beseech you, Lord, that your hand govern and direct me in all these matters so that I avoid excess.